Good morning, guys. <clears throat> Pretty interesting times. Oh Jesus, so HTPX is having a bit more. Yes, I have a stop. 70 bucks. <clears throat> but I may ra raise it. I've already raised it a couple of bucks. It used to be in uh, high 67s. <clears throat> but again, it's a long term position. It's not a big position. So I have no problem with this thing fading another $10. What's more interesting is the Twix long I have from pre-market. I was actually short going into today, but I covered it in pre-market and I switched to long because it took out this range here, 124 area. So now it's at new highs. I mean, this thing could squeeze to 150. It's showing, you know, it's making an abnormally big move compared to where the spies are. Like S&P 500 in pre-market, it's not even below yesterday's lows, but this Twix is at new highs. So there's definitely some fear here. So I bought 4,000 shares. Let's see if it can go to mid hundreds or something. That would be great. Uh, well, let's get started. Yeah, TQQ already went through long-term position. Nothing special here. I know I came in short today. I added some in pre-market when it went red. Um, and so far I've covered a few. And uh, again, you can see my stop levels here. I have three stop levels for it. I'm actually gonna lower them a little bit. Right, <clears throat> LK gapping down today. 
I actually saw that uh, China markets hit uh, 52 week highs. I don't, if it was yesterday, that's pretty amazing. <clears throat> so China is really strong, and this is a China stock, and it's barely down pre-market. So we'll see. My stop is 31.901. The XCM looks great. It's, it's surfing this 20-day moving average. They can't break it below that. Tesla gapping down pre-market, which is good since I'm short. Zoom is gapping down slightly on earnings. It, this is, it, you know, they have great growth, but the valuation is really at no split levels, like 60 times sales, if I did my math correctly. That's, uh, that's something for a <laughs> large cap stock. Uh, Twix, again, I went long pre-market. Codex, I came in short. Uh, pretty decent short position. And yeah, we'll see what, what happens. I have um, my stop level set. I may, you know, if it, acts, if it acts weak out of the gate, I may add to it, but I'll probably just manage it. IBIO is scapping up, another virus stock. This VIR is another virus stock, just stalking these. Spiegel is a China stock holding up really well. Another virus stock, it's kind of putting in a small consolidation. Maybe this thing can have a move later if it can break that consolidation area. DT, building a little bit of base here above the rising 50 day work, just surfing the rising 20 day. Uh, you will both BLDP and plug uh, reported today and they're both down pre-market. And fuel cell, I think, to report next week. But it is holding up fairly well so far. KWeb. Well, China is super strong. China is actually up today. That's pretty amazing. China is really strong. SDNE still basing. VXRT virus stock just basing here. APT is gapping up. And AHP is gapping up. APT had a nice little trade on it late day yesterday. I shorted it. I anticipated this little late day breakdown. And it had a had like a dollar fifty fade or something. Or, or maybe a little bit over a dollar. Uh, but I covered it. I didn't hold it overnight. So this gap up is a good thing. Maybe we'll get a trade later today. HTBX, another virus stock. Gapping up pre-market. And VIP shop. It's a China stock gapping up. Lift. There's nothing here. I mean, focus on the strong stocks, guys. Focus on the strong stocks. Yes, I saw HDBX. There's nothing there for me. <laughs> All right, I'm going to set some stops for a couple of stocks here. Uh, do, 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 do.
Yes, that is true, AXNX. This is not news. They, they pre-announced it early January, and we were long. Uh, so this is, this was expected. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Annoying, huh? And now it's at what? 38 pre-market. <laughs> oh well. You know what? If it was easy, everyone would be doing it. Everyone would be doing it. <laughs> it's kind of funny how the market operates. Okay, markets are open. Let's see what we have here.
I'm just managing my positions here. Raising stops when I can. And I'm INO is working really well. Codex hasn't really cracked yet from the open, so we'll see. And Twix is holding up really well too. I haven't really done any trades. And Twix is gonna stop me out probably. Opening range lows, I'm gonna sell it. Yeah, TQQ took out opening range highs. LK looks like it wants to go green. Zoom. Oh, what a what a strong candle. They couldn't crack the the ten day. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay, Codex is starting to break down. Zoom. What a strong stock. Really amazing. Vips is really good looking too. Work is breaking out. K-Web, oh, sh k -web, really? I just bought 15,000 of this thing. I, I, I think this is gonna be a good longer term hold. I, I do think so. And I will add more, uh, maybe in the coming weeks if it's if it sets up well. But this thing is um, China is showing relative strength compared to a lot of other markets. It is hitting the rising 50-day, but I I think uh, yeah we'll see how it closes. That's the important important part. I'll I'll hold the position if it closes strong. Billy is breaking out. Man, the China names are not. Messing, messing around, they're strong. Re oh, Codex, nice. I'm gonna... Uh, let's see here. Okay, Twix looks like I got stopped out of it. <clears throat> All right, things are uh, shaping up overall. INO is uh, going lower. Again, I added pre-market. Uh, and I'm gonna use the highs of the day as my final stop. And Codex is also working now. It's fading off the open. They had, a, uh, they had another uh, PR, so that's why it gapped up so much. All right. 
Now I can breathe a little bit. Zoom is about to hit new highs. Amazing. Let's see here. Uh -huh. Now, ah, this Beely looks intriguing. It does look intriguing. I really want to buy this thing, but I already have decent shine exposure with LK and Twix. Uh, not Twix, K Web, sorry. Man, I'm s I, I really want to buy this. It's just so strong. It's incredibly strong. Oh, sorry, uh, CPHI? No, I'm not watching it. <clears throat> uh, doesn't have any volume. Had big volume uh, three sessions ago, but right now it's kind of... Uh, I don't know. Can Yeah, I mean, sure. Right? Maybe later if it gets more volume, if it sets up. Right now I just don't see anything there. Um... Uh, is Twix is back near highs. Oh my god. <laughs> this thing is volatile. Look, I mean, takes out highs of the day, I will rebuy it. Because, you know, yeah, I don't know. Maybe. 126.45. Okay. Uh, CPB. Yeah. I don't know what you're looking at here, really. I mean, if, you know, it, it was a buy yesterday on opening range size. When it broke out of this long base, I, I guess it broke out on earnings. I don't really know what you're looking at here right now. Oh, work is... God damn, there's so many good looking things right now. Continuation, okay. Yeah, sure. Can work. I'm not really day trading, so I, I really don't... have an opinion on it. Plug is holding up well, and BLDP too. When a stock when a stock takes out what? Oh, I know I'm probably gonna get stopped out of a bunch of shares here. Uh, let's see here. You mean breaks out or they takes out takes out what? Yeah, usually when I buy a stock, I usually uh, have a stock at the lows of the day. <clears throat> yes, I usually have a stock. Usually, not always, but usually. Now these Corona stocks uh, found bids again. Yep, I know, just got stopped out of half.
Looked in a small profit so far. It really hasn't faded like I wanted it from yesterday. I really hoped it was going to put in a bigger fade yesterday. All right. <clears throat> I'm probably not going to trade this INO anymore. Maybe, you know, unless it puts in a nice range on the downside. But probably not going to touch it. Uh, oh, Codex. I need to manage my position here. Let's see. It looks strong. This codex, you know, it takes out the highs of the day. It could go to 16, 17. So I really have to manage this thing carefully. Okay, looks like Codex is gonna stop me out any second now. It's a little bit of a tricky market, you know, there's strength and there's weakness at the same time. And that's what shoppy markets are, they're very... Uh, they can be a little bit confusing sometimes. Okay, Codex, I'm all out. Well, actually, I'm not all out. I still have a few thousand shares left. No, I have not traded GBTC lately. I have not. This Codex looks... Uh, this thing looks dangerous. I think this thing could go to 16 today. And I wanted to go 16. I really wanted to go higher. This, yeah, cor Corona stocks are getting some momentum. Can't deny that. Okay, China stocks and some of these stocks have some failed breakouts so far. I mean, I have to say this APT, AHPI, and Codex, they look like pretty decent. They look really good on the daily chart. These things could go. I may switch to a long later on in the day. Uh, INO looks like it shook me out of half. Let's see, 822. I'm going to put all my stop here. BTC, it's, it's holding these higher lows. But other than that, I don't really see anything there. 
Okay, it looks like China is weakening. It looked really strong. Yeah, I saw that mRNA. <clears throat> mRNA is really the only or one of the few corona names that that is showing some weakness. Could be a short below the opening range lows. Could be a short. I'm going to look at it later. I think it's too early right now. Oh, VTIQ is back at highs. Gilead is taking out highs. Twix, I added back a bit, a uh, little bit earlier, and I'm gonna add more if it takes out opening range size. It looks very tight here, so it's a good risk reward. Like th this thing can really go if it goes. If you get some real fear in the market, this thing goes to mid high hundreds. HTBX, yeah, why can't this thing go to two? It has like in enormous volume. This thing is trading its float, like tw two times its float every single day. This thing goes to two bucks, don't worry about it. All these uh, Corona names are getting their momentum back. That's what I see. AHPI is near uh, back near high. It's interesting. Codex, yep, there it is. It's going. It is going. I am a bit tempted to get long some of these names. I am a little bit tempted. Yeah, they, they don't die. They're not going away. It's just not going away. That is uh, 
correct observation. What's KWeb do? Oh, KWeb. Oh, okay, it tanked, tanked on me. And LK is now showing some pretty big weakness, also. Or well, not big weakness, but yeah, it's a it's a dangerous market, very dangerous. They they hook they they hook you and then they just. That, but that's what shop is that's what shopping markets do that's what shopping markets do yeah I've seen billions it's pretty good I know that stopped out of my last shares. Ended up being a small profit overall. Uh, at the short, uh, the long was a home run. The long was like 250, 300k, but the short was a very small trade. Codex. I'm not. I'm not in it anymore. Uh, so I'll take it off. Zoom is great. K Web. I sized down half of my K Web, so I, I'm down to f a quarter size on it. I bought half size and I sold half of that, so that's a quarter size. LK looks interesting. Maybe I'll get stopped out today. Test slide, maybe opening range lows. Damn it, I missed my entry on mRNA. CPHI is starting to get some more volume. Oops. APT is. Um, Strengthening here. Yes, yeah, some long tweaks. But I think I don't think this mRNA will have much follow through, anyways, with all the other uh, Corona names being uh, re really strong. Look at how perfectly this TQQ uh, was rejected of this uh, 65 EMA on the 60-minute chart. Technical analysis doesn't work. Yes, it does. Uh, K Web.
AHPI, I am long. I, I bought some opening range highs. I bought some. Bought 8,000 shares. It's a very thin stock, so I, I don't, I didn't want to buy any more. This thing could go back to 30 bucks. 1775, where is my stop gonna be? Uh, 1918. I'm gonna use like a dollar and a half stop. Either it goes or it doesn't. Okay, AHPI, I am long. I am also stalking uh, APT. Uh, dude, they're all chunk. They're all chunk. And the chunk names are the best ones. Many times the chunkiest names are the best longs. Um, IBIO. You know what? I'm going to start stalking IBIO. Thanks for the idea. I'm telling you, th these are the best ones. The chunkier the name, the better the long. Because there, there's so many shorts in those names. What does yoinked mean? I have no idea what it means. Codex, what's this doing? And codex too. Looks, it's a Twitch term. It's a Twitch term. What does it mean? I need to learn these Twitch ter uh, terms. What kind of a streamer am I if I, I if I don't know the terminology? Stolen. Okay. Yep, I know is starting to break some ranges on the 60 minute chart. Oh, okay. I get it. APT. Oop. Did I miss it? Don't tell me I missed it. Don't tell me I missed it. APT, come on. Ah, oh, no. I missed the entry. Maybe I can get some on the pullback. If it pulls back, damn these 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 things are so strong. Wait, what? AH? Oh my God! AHPI! Holy shit! That's a move. That is one hell of a candle. But again, I, I think this thing could have 50% upside from here easily, so I'm not going to sell any unless it goes absolutely nuts. Okay, APT, I got filled on half. Man, I hate these kinds of markets when there's so much going on, and it's been like this for two weeks almost. What the hell is going on here? <laughs> Resistance 20 yeah, 20-ish area, absolutely. 20, 22, uh, 20, 21 area, maybe. That's really the first target. But look, I, I mean, I'm risking a dollar here. And, you know, look, I'm really looking for a bigger move, like five, ten dollars Same thing with AHPI. I'm looking for a bigger move. They just look good. If you look at the, if you look at the chart on APT, it's been building higher lows for the past, Know, two weeks same thing with AHPI it's been building higher lows except for this little undercut here codex is a little bit choppier but you know this thing could go look at the daily chart uh, 
Doesn't look as good, I guess. I don't know. But I am watching this IBIO. I think there could be a sheet entry even before it takes. As long as it holds above a uh, VWAP and builds higher lows, I think there could be a sheet entry. This thing can go to four. You know what's great about these things? If they, if they go higher, it's because there will be even more shorting opportunities next week. Dude, dude, no, 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 please, don't, don't do that, <laughs> because there's stiff, no, 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 this is not, this is, this is not about fundamentals, it's all about pump, it's, it's, it's all about the uh, hype and momentum right now, these things are not trading on fundamentals. And by the way, Codex is not weaker. Codex is up more than APT is. And more than IBIO is. And more than INO is. This is all about momentum. Yeah, TDOC is, look, it, it, it's one of these remote stocks. The remote theme is really strong. Uh, you know, since the Corona stuff started, it looks good. I just think we are in a very shoppy market, and uh, it's it's uh, it's dangerous to buy. It looks good. It looks good. But unless uh, yeah, you know, real stocks are a little bit dangerous right now. I think you know this shop could go on for you know, many weeks, even months. If Codex builds higher lows throughout the day and starts breaking this mid-15 area midday or later in the day, uh, maybe there will be a setup there. This Oakle, someone mentioned it yesterday. Is this a coronavirus stock? Because when people just put tickers, you know, put news also. There has to be some news in it. Someone mentioned it yesterday. I, I think, I, I guess that person is a very happy camper today. It's up. I mean, this thing was at like low sixes when the person. His next COD? Okay. All right. <laughs> Oh, IBIO just broke down hard. Okay, take this off from the long idea for now. Wait, why is Twix not in my position list? I'm long this thing. It should be here. Okay, fixed. I mean, there is some potential here. Good luck, Tugboat. Have a good day. It's VIR, it's super thin, but it also looks good. It's been building higher lows for the past week, and it has a range here, but this is like incredibly illiquid. It's not tradable, probably, but yeah, I'll put an alert on it. This is the kind of stock, you know, you, you can buy it, you can risk like 
three dollars on it and it goes up 20. NVAX? Um, NVAX, yeah. Yeah. It does have a range here at 1230 ish. Uh, but right now, I'm watching so many already. I, I, I don't want to add another one. But I go through the list uh, of these stocks like. I'll go through it in a couple of hours and see what's setting up. Like right now, I'm already long AHPI and APT. Uh, so I don't want to go too crazy with them. Wait, KPTI. Someone said KPTI. What's going on? Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're digesting the offering really well. Where did they price? I know they did a 150 million offering. I think here 625 at 24 bucks very good pricing very good pricing yeah very good biotechs overall are a fairly strong group like there's a lot of biotechs uh, holding up really well like the Seattle genetics it's up on the day a lot of them dum, 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 dum. Okay, now the markets are crapping, and together with the markets, these Corona stocks are crapping out too. <laughs> That's why it's so hard. It's sometimes very like frustrating to short the uh, sorry trade a shoppy market because you get strength and weakness at the same time in a bunch of different sectors. I'll set another alert on APT. Because if it holds up, if it, even if it doesn't go today, if it holds up, uh, it could be a setup for tomorrow or next week. As long as it doesn't break that, as long as it doesn't break below these higher lows. And same thing with AHPI. Right now it's a shop fest, and it looks like I'm gonna get stopped out. Um, hmm. Uh, you know, I'll, I'll do, I do, I'll do like this. I'll put two stops on it. Okay, I'll do like this. <clears throat> All right. AHPI is holding up stronger though. Twix, yeah, it got, it got a down candle. We'll see. Markets are hold. The spies are actually holding a higher low here in the 60-minute chart. The Twix really showed some weakness compared to the spice yesterday like it started fading pretty badly while spice uh, or well okay spice did have a big move up never mind never mind
Gilead having a big uh, update. Denmark. Well, it had it does have a lot of volume for for you know this is one of its biggest volume days, and it's not even a an hour out of the gate yet. So I would say it's pretty big volume for this stock. Uh, what's the news on this thing? Medical devices, okay. Is it corona related? So I'm getting kind of exhausted with these corona stocks. There's like over 40 in my watch list right now. Enough is enough. <laughs> enough is enough. Ethereum, really? And GBTC, okay. Uh, it looks like these um, things are starting to go. Crypto related stuff. Why not? I'm in. I'm in. I bought some here. This is the one I was long a few weeks ago. Looks very good. Super thin, but I bought it in my smallest account, in my Interactive Brokers account. It's a tiny position. But for that account, it could make a bit, big, big difference. Work is breaking out again. Jesus Christ. I know is super strong. Oh, GNMK, Corona, of course. 
another Corona stock. Corona test kits. All right. All right. Let's put another name here. Uh, 42 names. 42 stocks. What's the other Ethereum name? ETCG. Doesn't look as good. For some reason. VXRT. You have 44. Okay. QQ very strong but it's just running up into resistance again so I don't know but a lot of my longs are looking better zoom new highs what amazing Okay, Twix, I'm uh, I'm out again. I am out again. <clears throat> the market is shaping up. This codex is not going away though, and it, it it's already having big volume day. This thing could trade 30 million at this rate. This thing could trade over 30 million shares. Interesting. Work is going. Oh man, I need to buy some of this. It's in the correct sector. Oh, I bought work in the wrong account. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Levongos. Breaking higher. You can just see it. Every time the market upticks, there's a bunch of growth names that just start breaking higher. It's just incredible. There's so much strength underneath in some of these stocks. There really is. There really is.
Hippo. Okay. It's VXRT is breaking higher. Okay, APTI. Looks like I got stopped out of half. That's a shame. Looked good for a while there. KWeb is back. Damn. Damn, this T Doc. Incredible strength. Unbelievable strength. Uh, codex. If this thing can just go sideways today, there will it, it it will be a much clearer picture tomorrow if it's gonna be a long or a short. Like it needs to break this 1360 area to the downside for a short and 1550 area for to the upside for a long. Right now it's just too unclear. Wow, D Dog is. Pretty, I actually took it off my watch list uh, in the pre market because it's gapping down, but yeah. Looks strong. JD new highs, incredible. I would say growth stocks in the US and also China growth stocks. They really want to go. They really, really want to go. Yeah, exactly. That's true. Yeah. Wait, do yeah, do you and Billy? Yeah. And in the US, people are using Zoom and work and team professionally, right? I think a lot of companies will start using these uh, three services more. So especially if people get, you know, afraid to go out because of the virus. They have no choice. Have to use these services, so th that's why these things are strong. And T Doc, you don't have to go to the hospital. <laughs> you can just use your phone to get it examined by a doctor. Net is breaking higher. Incredible. You can just see, clearly see the strength. This is what I'm always talking about. You know, fuck these weak stocks. Like someone mentioned Lyft today. Like 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 fuck these weak stocks. Like you you can clearly see which stocks are wanting to go. There's no reason to look at weak stocks when there are growth, uh, strong stocks. Yeah. 
Like T Dog, this thing has barely been below the 10 day. And now it's up 7%. Wait, AHPI is... Am I still green on it? Oh, I am. Okay. And APT, what's this one doing? It's uh, just shopping around. EHTH. EHTH. There, there is no... Yeah. It's, it's a day trading setup. I don't day trade. MDP, D dog yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of stocks breaking higher today. Uh, Kweb, I may add back some of what I saw. I don't know, probably not. I'll keep my quarter size, and uh, no, that's fine. I just don't like these marginal setups. I I I I look for big trades, things that can go. You know, these day trading setups are just not my thing. They just confuse me, so... So a lot of stocks are looking good, but the question is, you know, what if we gap, have a big gap down tomorrow? What if we retest uh, the lows from last, from Friday? Yes, I don't day trade. I always try to hold for a few weeks or a few months, preferably. That's when the big winners are made. That's where you get the big winners. And your nervous systems get protected? I don't... I don't understand. You mean it's less stressful? Or what do you mean? Mm, well... It depends. It, it's still stressful. Trading is still stressful, no matter what the time frame. But the a good thing about swing and position trading is you don't have to fight near your entry. Like, as a day trader, you're always near your entry. But as a swing trader, you know, once the stock starts going, I mean, look, look let's look at an example, something I've been holding for a long time, uh, like Zoom. I've been holding it since... I think 13th of February, and this thing is up 37% from my entry. Like once it went, I didn't have to look at it all the time. Like I know it's uh, it's up a bunch, but as a day trader, you're always sitting near your entry, and that sucks. And there's very little money to be made, usually too. So on in day trading. But as a swing and position trader, in the right type of a market, you, you just, look, size, you always scale it up. If your account goes up 50%, you always should try to scale up your size 50%. You, you do it step by step. You always have to stretch, the, stretch, it, stretch it. But you have to do it the correct way. You have to do it from a position of strength. You do it when you, you when you've had a good period, not when you things are going bad. When things are going bad, that's when you reduce your size. 2.5 is way too much. 2.5 is way too much. That's you know you have a 
six seven losers in a row you're you're down you know 20 percent in your account that's way too much you should probably cut it by half i usually risk around 0.5 percent ish on most of my trades around like say 0.2 to 0.7 i rarely risk more than one percent Sometimes I do, but maybe a few times per week, if, if that. Probably not even every week. It depends on the market conditions. Like the past two weeks, there have been so many crazy opportunities and I've been pretty aggressive. So I've had a lot of like 1% type of trades where I risk 1% or even more. Like on APT, when I shorted APT, I took like several 1% uh, losses before I nailed it on the short side. I took like three or four 1% losses on it. And then I nailed it and I made, made, made it back and, <laughs> you know, then some. But 2.5 on every single trade, <sighs> that's, uh, that's uh, you're, I think you're asking for trouble. It's all great when things are going well, but if you get in a drawdown, you will get in a drawdown very fast. In a pretty bad drawdown very fast. Yeah, work, nice. I didn't get filled on all of my shares. I got filled on 29,000 out of 30. 2841 average, so pretty decent average. I wish I had sort of seen it a little bit sooner, but it went straight up. Now, Codex is fading below VWAP. Again, I, I'm not going to get back in this, into this thing unless it breaks 1360-ish to the downside or 1550-ish to the upside. It's been a pretty shoppy for me on the, on the short side. And I'm just waiting for the ranges to play out. Uh, fuel cell, um, look, it's peers, PLD, PM plug reported today. Uh, they're holding up pretty well. This PLDP is red on the day, but it's holding the rising 50 day. Plug is a bit weaker, but plug is also, I think, shittier uh, fundamentally. So they're selling this one. Uh, but fuel cell, it's been uh, building higher lows for over a month. And it's still in this big, big flag it's been building since like early January. Um, but yeah, it, it, may, it, may, it may break below it today. But if it holds, if it puts in another higher low and then starts breaking this 210 area, maybe next week or something, it could be a good long. They have earnings next week. But right now I think the sector is dead. The whole fuels in the sector. ICPT, uh, no, it's just a random stock with a random chart. Focus on the strong names. D Dog, yeah, D Dog is really nice. I, I, I just too scared to buy more. I'm too, I'm too scared to buy more, because the markets are so choppy and, you know, they look good one day and then the next day they're gonna stop you out. But right now it does look good. D dog looks really good. Tesla is holding some higher lows on the sixty minute chart. But I'm thinking if it can if it if the markets go lower tomorrow next week it, it, there could be a short here below this 718 area I'll, I'll set an alert it needs to set up more I, i'm still short a couple of thousand shares of this thing from uh, whatever day it was monday
So uh, in case it wants to break below the 50 day in the coming weeks, but it's a longer term short. I'm willing to hold it for months as long as it doesn't stop me out. Work, amazing, amazing short. Zoom, I think I'm gonna sell some more Zoom here. I'm not, I, I only have um, small size left. No, I have two thirds of my position still. More than I thought. Okay. Yeah, the e dog is. It looks amazing. It really does. It, it's been holding up so well du during the carnage last week. It, it barely went down, and then it bounced off this rising 50 day held it, closed screen, and now built the ring. It just looks so good. <clears throat> Chain, uh, oh sorry, gold is strong, but the gold miners are acting like shit. Gold is near its 52 week highs and gold miners are just back in the ranges. <laughs> oh, this DT is starting to break too. This one also bounced off its rising 50, it didn't even touch the 50 day and it's been holding really well, I'm, I'm taking it off my watch list, I'm not gonna buy it anyways but I don't wanna get, I don't wanna go crazy again since it is still, a, this is, uh, even though a lot of things look good it's, it's still a very dangerous market environment. Do not, don't forget that this is a very dangerous market environment for, for, for buying breakouts. Like we could go down any day. And I think it will take a few weeks to a few months before we start resolving it. This Corona mess. And reason why I bought, uh, let's see, which one was it? Work, uh, instead of like D Dog or some of these others is, it's it's in the remote working theme, just like Team and um, and Zoom, and Zoom as obviously you know this is the <laughs> strongest one. I think if it goes to like 150 plus, we're gonna have a big short on it. Uh, Shopify, yeah, absolutely, and they're both acting really well. Uh, th these things will keep going if um, you know in a few weeks, if they still hold up. They look really good. Shopify, yeah, th these are these are you know super liquid market leaders, absolutely. I've been trading both of them over the years. VTIQ, if this thing can go to 20 plus, it reminds me of a little bit about space, you know, hugely speculative money burning company. Um, how big of a move did this one do? Over 400%. And this thing is only up like, yeah, this thing needs to go to 30, 40 plus. Absolutely, yeah. Nvidia and shop and AMD also. AMD I've traded a lot over the years. <laughs> Zoom or oh, sorry, work. What an erection candle! You had higher lows coming into this.
What a shame that LK faded back into its space. You know what? If it takes out the loser the day, I'm gonna I'm gonna size down on it. I'll sell a third or maybe even half. If it takes out loser the day. Because I, I, I prefer breakouts that go immediately. I don't like the ones that fall back into its ranges. number so I'll just play it safe dun, 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 dun. D dog wow LVGO is going APT I got stopped out took a $24,000 loss on it it couldn't go it couldn't go But as long as it still builds higher lows, it could be a setup for tomorrow or, the nec or next week. If it doesn't break down, that is. Uh, what's GBTC doing? Like GBTC is a little bit weaker than the Ethereum ETF. But it's starting to perk up from this little low level mini base but I think it needs more time to set up how does the GBTC USD chart look like no sorry BTC what is this decline offer BTC USD this is what BTC USD looks like I think it, I think it needs more time, but it could very well go higher. But I think it needs a little bit better base. Vips is about to take out the opening range size. Big volume. Big, big volume. Already a double average daily volume or triple average daily volume.
Okay, let's go through some virus plays here. Sort it by volume. HDBX is obviously fading here. Taking off. IBIO faded back into its range. INO is the strongest one, or one of the strongest ones. Maybe it wants to take another leg higher. Codex is still holding well. BCRX is fading. Gilead is strong. MRNA, yep. Tried to break lower, but now it's back into range. Maybe tomorrow or next week, if it goes sideways here, it could have a breakout out of this little level. Wow, congrats on GNMK. I knew one of you was, uh, was it Hype Stock Trading that bought it? It's, uh, it's up. work I should probably sell some here I'm up like four and a half percent on my position already and this is a large cap name that's a big move for a large cap name in such a short amount of time Now Seattle Genetics, I got an alert of this one. Not going away, building a nice looking base here. Probably needs a bit more time to tighten up. Oh, now there's a lot of alerts coming. K-Web, oh, you know what? I'll add back some K-Web. Not as much as I had, but yeah. I had 15,000 shares, now I have 12. I just couldn't resist, I, I can't help myself. I just can't. But what can I say? I can't help myself. Twix is near the lows of the day again. Uh, Baba? Yeah. 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 I was long Baba. I got shaken out below this rising 100 day. Uh, the thing is K-Web is... Uh, it's a portfolio of many stock. It's an ETF, so you get you get a bunch of other stocks too with this K Web. But yeah, if Baba sets up again, I may I may buy it too. I I think it's just a little bit uh, unclear here. Yeah, well, well not safe, but uh, there's more diversification. I think it's less stressful to hold uh, ETFs than individual stocks since, you know, like K-Web, this thing has like 15, 20 plus other stocks. I think Baba and Tencent are the biggest positions in this thing. And then it holds a bunch of others. So, it, you know, it's very unlikely we'll have a big move lower on really bad news. Mm -hmm. 
VIR is perking here. But it's all about the setup. Right now, I think KWeb has a better setup than Baba has. Uh, it just looks a bit cleaner. I don't know. They look very similar. Like, they, they look very similar. Super similar. But yeah, I just chose to do KWeb. It, it's, not, it's not, you know, it doesn't really matter. Like, if you look at this, <clears throat> like Baba, when I was long this thing, it, uh, from like early November to well last week this thing went up or let's just say to the peak here in early January it w Baba went up 30% from my entry Kweb during the same time went up 24% so a little bit smaller of a move but my point is like if Kweb goes Baba goes too and if Baba goes Kweb goes too so it doesn't really matter yeah, I uh, I talked about GNMK like f five minutes ago. Grats, <laughs> nice trade. Nice nice call. You were all you were all over it. I know you mentioned it several times. Great call. <clears throat> nice job. I hope it goes to seven bucks for you. Oh my god, look at this candle on work! Really? Jesus Christ, I need to sell some more. I'll sell a tiny bit more. Nah, I'll sell some like 30, high 30s I'll sell some. Or mid 30s, I don't know. 30.60, yeah, high 30s. Mid high 30s, I'll sell some. Roku. Look, guys, the, these kind of stocks, it's just, it's a weak stock. Ignore these, ignore these. Focus on the strong ones. There's, there's a lot of random stocks. Ignore all of these. Focus on the ones that are that are in uptrends and that that have been holding up really well during the correction. Focus on those ones. That's where the big money is. Like Roku is literally inside of a range right now. This thing has no upside. Look at stuff like D Dog. Look at stuff which I passed on. Look at stuff like uh, uh, Work, which I lo I'm long. Th these are the types of stocks you want to own. These are the types of stocks you want to own. Look at this. T Dog also. This one I, I didn't think it was going to go. I saw it breaking out early, but I passed on it. But it's just they can't, they can't hold it down. And as soon as the market selling east, this thing exploded. The all of these. Don't don't look at these weak stocks. Ignore them. Yes, I use trend intensity. <clears throat> I have it right here. TI.
Okay, Twix is about to take out Lose of the Day. I'll do one more scan and I'm gonna cut the stream. The solar stocks, A E M P H S C D G, super strong. I hope they can base, base uh, you know another three to five days at least. But they look like they want to explode. Oh, G N M K turned up on my scan. Uh, let's see here. It's gonna be what is this T T M P? There's just so many great looking strong stocks. There's no, there's no reason to even look at weak stocks or stocks that are near the bottom of their ranges. I bought a little bit of this VIR, super thin stock, but it looks, uh, it's been building higher lows, it, it's a small starter, it's a super, super thin name. LK, uh, what's nice about it? No, it's not. It's, it's not going anywhere. Oh, you mean it took out today's highs? Yeah, sure. Uh, I mean, yeah, on the week, on the fifth, on the five minute chart, it looks like it's made a nice move today. But you know, now we're, it's still inside of its range. Um, but it held a higher low, so that's a good thing. But really, these guys, these things are not moving. Like guys, wake me up when this thing is at 50. <laughs> these moves are nothing. Trust me, these moves are not. This thing can go to 50, 60 bucks once it gets going. These marginal moves are there's there's nothing here. Really looks like it w it's probably gonna take out highs later. I'm not sure what to do with it. I don't know. I don't think I'm gonna buy it, or maybe I will. I'll buy small. I'll buy like half size. I don't want to get overextended on with the longs, in case we retest the lows in the markets. Okay, yeah, Twix is uh, Twix is fading now.
Codex is so far staying above VWAP, it looks like. All right, I'll cut the stream now. Uh, I hope you have a great trading day and I will see you all tomorrow, hopefully. Take care, guys.